Then a back to Contrail. Shariar has lost a bit of ground there back through the field. Now picking up a little bit going past Sunray Pocket. Then a gap to Uber Lehman on the inside. Grand Glory out wide and now Broom is coming into contention. Back on the rail is Japan. Uber Laban's well back. Lord My Way, Mozu Bello and work to do well back the rest of the field. As they get to the 400 metre pole, Kiseki, he's been here before, but here comes Authority. Authority laying down the law and running on his contrail and Shariar. Is it the race for the ages, the one we were scripting for? Yes, it is. It's Authority joined by Contrail. Con Contrail, Contrail, is he going to go out a window? Contrail hits the front from Authority and running into third is Sharia. Goodbye, son. Well done. Contrail wins the Japan Cup. He's off to the breeding barn, wins it from Authority and Sharia. Well, the one, two, three, as we expected, they were there. Uber Lehman flew home not too far away back on the inside. Grand Glory, what a great run. Cracksman inside the final six furlongs. They're on their way towards the five in the champion stakes. Monix Glenn driving up the inside of Rhododendron, then Verbal Dexterity and Subway Dancer. So still inside the five now, it's still Maverick Wave out in front from Capri the Grey in second place, Ryan Moore. Then in third is Crystal Ocean, the King George runner-up, Cracksman last year's winner, just fourth in the red cap, Frankie de Torres, they now approach the turn into the home straight, Verbal Dexterity, Monarchs Glen round the inside, and then Rhododendron and Subway Dancer, they're beginning to stretch now, Maverick Wave, a half length to Capri, Crystal Ocean, Cracksman now being asked to go up and join these as they enter the home straight, in behind Monarchs Glen is searching for racing room, Cracksman now charging down the outside of Maverick Wave, Crystal Ocean on the far side and Capri and Cracksman takes it up and it looks a pretty decisive move and Cracksman begins to open right away here again at Ascot and Cracksman goes four lengths clear five lengths clear of Chris Lotion running up blinder is Subway Dancer but they're not going to catch Cracksman he's absolutely relentless it's seven eight lengths clear Frankie saluting the crowd a second champion stakes and what a champion he is in second Crystal Ocean a brilliant run from Subway Dancer in third and Capri in fourth loves only you fifth and Panfield next the fence from Russian Emperor Le Papale's in the center from Dubai Honor and then Berlin Tango Ishiaguazu second last and Torbian Diamond is last of all it's Ka Ying Star now the leader in the middle Bolshoi Ballet is three wide and back to third goes Max Sweeney Fourth is Love's Only You. What a glorious dragon from Panfield. Improving Russian Emperor from Leipa Parley, Berlin Tango, then Dubai Honor. Next then is Ishi Iguazu and Torbian Diamond, last of all, 600 to go. The Longjean, Hong Kong Cup field and near the bend now. Ka Ying Star asked for more. Bolshoi Ballet sticks on despite a tough run. Glorious Dragon gone, Russian Emperor came into the race and he loomed up very quickly. Next Berlin Tango, loves only use in traffic and out wide is Ishi Iguazu. Russian Emperor is the leader. Ishi Iguazu's out wider and loves only use gets Getting out now, Russian Emperor, Ishi Iguazu, Love's Only You's in the middle, still Russian Emperor in front, Love's Only You flashing through the centre, out wide Ishi Iguazu, it's Japan 1-2, Love's Only You, says Sayonara with the cup. And Helene Charisma shows the way, Highland Real creeping a little closer now, they're two lengths on Talismanic who settled lovely in third, two back then to Chemical Charge on the outside of Eagle Way. Two further back, Max Dynamite inside of Tozen Basil, who settled nicely. The Japanese three-year-old Kaseki, he's on the move around them. Going around, Chemical Charge, Smart Call. Tiberian gets onto his back, and Gold Mount is last of all. Highland Reel now up outside of as they sweep down the side of the course, Elaine Charisma. 800 metres to go in the Vars. They're two and a half clear from Talismanic, who's had a lovely sit in the race. Eagle Ways now pushing off the fence. Dane Hill Kodiak's under pressure. Kaseki's very wide. Toes and Basil starting to creep through. Then Max Dynamite getting well back. Tiberian and also Smart Call with Goldmount. They come to the corner. And Highland Reel now pushed on. Takes the lead from Helene Charisma. Talismanic stalking. Then came Max Dynamite. Further out is Toes and Basil now winding up. Highland Reel in front. He's vulnerable. Toes and Basil. Talismanic. They run to him. Then came Chemical Charge running a big race from Max Dynamite. Talismanic gets on terms with Highland Reel. He won't surrender. Tozen Battle's run is coming to an 
again, but Irish eyes are smiling. Highland Reel, what a fitting finale. Highland Reel takes the bars from Talismanic. Ali Sheba is off the rail racing fourth. Then far the back, 49er has been taken back in fifth position. And the two Phipps color bearers are running together, seeking the gold and personal flag. Then a gap of four lengths back to Crypto Clearance, who's allowed to settle in an early gallop. And lively one trails the classic field as they make their way into the back stretch. Wah quite pressed all the way by Slew City Slew. Those two continue as a speed duel continues on down the back stretch. Cutlass Reality is five lengths off them in third. It's another four to Ali Sheba now, who is eight lengths off the lead. And just to his inside, 49er now. Julie Crone asking him for run a half mile out. And now the field moving for the far turn. It is Walk White now beginning to shake loose from Slough City Slough. Cutlass Reality is moving in closer third. Ali Sheba begins the roll now. He's making his move as they round the far turn. And then personal flag and seeking the goal. They're both moving together now as they come to the top of the stretch. Crypto Clarence is kicking in now and he's moving into contention. He's just five lengths off the lead. Then it's lively one. 49er is now the trailer as the field comes to the top of the stretch. It is Cutlass Reality and Walk Point. Ali Sheba set down for the drive. Personal flag is moving through an opening toward the rail. Seeking the goal on the outside. They're coming to the final furlong. Walk Point is tenacious. Ali Sheba is right there. And on the outside, seeking the goal. Ali Sheba with the short lead. He's unyielding. Seeking the goal. A final move as they come to the wire. And Ali Sheba, America's horse, has done it. Ali Sheba returns to the side of his greatest victory. Precision and last of all, Tiger Tail. They're past halfway, 900 to go. Weightless from self, Flit, Magna 10, one off the lead is three deep. Then Omas behind them from Adigan Fashion. Blue Stitch, Dr. Moore next. Felbrab travels well. We wait and see. Rackney underneath him. Bright Sky fudders them. Denon's gone. Asian Preston off it, followed by Precision. Tiger Tail off the bridle last. Still weightless leads at the 600. It's had a good trip. self lit moves closer. Adigan Fashion travels well. Magna 10, Den Omas, Dr. Moore, Blue Stitch next. Felbrab four off the lead is starting to switch through. Rackney's at shadow. Bright Sky keeps it in. Rackney goes to the inside. The runs come. They're four off the lead. Elegant fashion, the lady goes to self flit. Now Felbrav, Ratke come through. Dr. Moore, Blue Stitch, Bright Sky behind them. Felbrav and Ratke wind up. This is what it's about. Felbrav sprouts wings at the 150. Away goes a champion. Two lengths in front. Ratke elegant fashion for the liner. What a swan song. Say goodbye to a star. Felbrav by two lengths to Ratke. Elegant fashion third. Tiger tail four. A long break. Dr. Moore, Asian Preston couldn't come on. Albert the Great grinding it out on a short lead now. Orientate couldn't stay with them. There goes Guided Tour, who splits horses decisively with five furlongs to go. And on the outside, the daunting presence of a horse of the year. Tis now, and he's right there, just off the pace fourth. Saki and Galileo, right there and behind the lead. Macho knows in the thick of it, as Aptitude begins to roll here, with three and a half furlongs to go in the Classic, and it is Albert the Great blazing the way. Tis now looms in second. Saki is there on the outside. Guided Tour fights on. Galileo's under a heavy drive. He's still six lengths behind. Include will put his run through on the rail. Aptitude is taken wide by Gander. And the field turns for home. Here comes the arc winner. Saki. And he storms to the lead. Saki in there. Past Taurus, Gemini, Crescendo, Love, Arm and Eye. Yoshio's going backwards. Current Bouquet Door. Then comes Daring Tack, Contrail. Followed by World Premier, Performer Promise, Mickey Swallow. Well back is You Can Smile with Makahiki and Waiter Paris is still last. Past the 600 meter mark, Kinkaseki keep going. Leads into the home straight and licks, licks to, the, to the fence. Leads out by nine lengths. It's Kaseki approaching the 400 meter mark. Has he gone too fast, too early? Glory Vase and Arm and Eye. Here comes Curran Bouquet Door, Contrail and Daring Tack out wider. It's still Kaseki in front. Arm and Eye issuing the challenge. Glory Vase along the inside. Here comes Contrail and Curran Bouquet Door. 
Here comes Armadai. Armadai and Contrail. Armadai in a blaze of glory. She's starting to shorten stride. She's in front. Good on you, girl. Sayonara in your last race. Armadai wins. Contrail, bouquet door. Flashing home late, daring tack along the inside, Corey Vase. McDonald just easing back a little bit. It looks as though he's trying to find a way out off the fence. Then came Shalali and Dance, Dance, Dance last. No surprises yet. They've got 900 a run. Mask of time a length clear from Harlem. Then Hartnell, happy clapper. Now he starts the run on wings. He's starting to move forward. Just shading Kluger. Then he's eminent still positioned back on the inside of Shalali and Dance, Dance, Dance coming to the turn. The roughing mask of time, two lengths clear. Hartnell goes to second giving chase now happy clapper and winks is rounding them up coming right around the field kluger takes an inside run she's gone for home already winks she beats off hartnell kluger going up the inside happy clapper can't go on winks is two lengths clear kluger sticks on then came hartnell but she's well clear winks inside the final hundred meters today we farewell an australian icon the greatest of all time Winks wins her third, Queen Elizabeth beats Kluger. And they're all put to full out drives. And American Farrell is getting away. And they're into the stretch. And American Farrell has a four length lead. And Finance is second. And then it's frosted. Totalist and honor code. American Farrell comes into his final furlong. And he's got a five, a six length lead as they come to the wire. A triple crown winner. A Breeders' Cup winner. A horse. Of a lifetime! American Farrell has won the Breeders' Cup Classic over FNX in honor code in a final time of 2 minutes, 0.07 seconds. He went out in style.